welcome back to my channel it is your girl jasmine Justine. if you're new here if you're returning hey girl hey what's up what's good what's good hey we are back with a new video you guys know what season it is right it is silk press season and you know i had to come with a nice little silk press video i actually like straightening my hair now because i found like a really honestly for me it's easy like i would classify this as an easy way to straighten my hair and I'm actually going to be adding some extensions in today. Today's video is sponsored by Curls Queen. They sent over some gorgeous tape-ins that I'm going to be installing. A very cute, natural look. I'm not trying to give myself too much extra hair, but I kind of just want to give myself a little bit more length. But yeah, it's so press season. I'm trying to wear my natural hair out. I want my scalp to breathe. I want my hair blowing in the wind. My hair has gotten a little bit longer since the last time you got, since the last time you guys have seen it straight. So I'm excited to actually like straighten it, give myself a little haircut today, and just see what it's giving on its own. Cause you know I'm good for a wig, but I also got inches underneath. Oh. So if you guys are excited for today's video, then make sure you keep watching, of course. Don't forget to click that subscribe button down below and join the tribe. I love you guys. And yeah, let's just get right into this install. Why do you always want to be in the video? Why do you always want to be in my face when, when um, I start filming? Okay, Benson wants to say hi. Hi, Papa. Papa, say hi. You guys, I cut his hair like four days ago and it already grew back in his face like his hair grows so fast all right so i've just gotten out of the shower so my hair is actually freshly shampooed conditioned deep conditioned oiled up ready to go i'm going to be blow drying and then straightening my hair but before i get into that i just want to show you what comes inside of your curls queen box um when you purchase your tape in extension so they send you a bunch of little accessories and tools that you'll need to install them so there's a comb in here there's some claw clips um and then these little like velcro like hair separator pieces i don't know what the technical term is for them but they allow you to like keep hair out of the way while you're parting to make sure that your parts are super clean and then on the inside of the box you're gonna have your hair extensions of course inside of a nice little silk baggie oh this silk bag is so cute it's like pink to be fresh gifted female and black wow okay um and then there's a bonnet in here and there's also a brush i'm gonna have the hair um specs on the screen because i don't remember off the top of my head but i do believe these are 16 inch light yakky tape-in extensions so the last time i did tape-ins on my channel i did curly ones because i wanted them to look super natural but like i said at the beginning of this video it is silk press season your girl's trying to give some inches but i want to give straight and i feel like the light yakky i've tried their their clip-ins before in this texture and it was a perfect match so i thought that the tape-ins would be an even better option because it's just a little bit more long term than clip-ins of course three bundle um pack which i believe is the ultra glam set but this is the hair it's super soft there's no smell. Actually, there is a smell. It smells like shampoo. Like, it smells like really nice shampooed hair. So, honestly, I feel like you could wear this straight out of the pack, which I will be doing. But, yeah, this length is going to be, like, super natural. I am going to layer it a little just so that my hair blends with it. Um, but I'm excited. I need to blow dry my hair. This gets my hair super duper like sleek and then i'm gonna go over it with a flat iron because it needs to be like pressed all the way out whenever i pull this out you know it's it's going down the blow dry mist i'm gonna be using is from kristen s i got this at target i will have it linked down below for you guys but this is for all hair types and it's just a lightweight split end smoothing blow dry mist that's gonna help with you know a little bit of heat protection um it is damp by the way like my hair is not fully dry but it's not fully wet like it's obviously not dripping in water but it's definitely damp like I towel dried after I got out of the shower I'm gonna part it down the middle and I'm gonna just speed through this part because I've done it before and I will link like my blow dry and straighten routine video down below for you guys if you want to see that one like more in depth like look at how long my hair got ah! you remember when it was like in a bob and then it was a little bit longer girl my hair got long. Oh my god.
Okay, so I just finished blow drying my hair. This is all me, nothing added yet. My hair got so long. Ah! I'm so excited. Like, this is actually very cute. This makes me like wanna straighten my hair more. I haven't, also I haven't gotten it professionally cut by like a professional in a very long time. Like I cut my own hair. I do everything in my own hair. So now I'm about to go in and I'm about to straighten it cause the hair needs to be like pressed straight so that it blends with the tape-ins. I feel like I look so different, but like also like I look like myself. This is all me. All right, your girl just finished straightening her hair. This is what it's giving. Again, this is still all me. <laughs> My hair got so long, I can't believe it. Like, I can believe it, but I can't believe it. Like, I, you, I feel like you don't know until you straighten your hair and then you see it straight and you're like, yeah. Now it's gonna be time for the bum part, which is gonna be adding in these tape ends, honey. I do want to give myself like a little trim. I am not a professional, so this is going to be like real, real simple. I don't have any split ends, but my ends are just a little thin, so just like right on the tip. It's giving a silk press. All right, so I actually went and I cut my, I gave myself a trim off camera just because. I wanted to do it in my bathroom and I also, I'm not a professional so I don't want to like do something on camera and then one of you guys is like, you're doing it wrong. But I just gave myself a little trim. It looks a lot healthier now. My ends are like, the last time I did my tape ends and even when I did my micro links, I feel like I brought them too forward to where like when I put my hair up in a ponytail or anything like that or a pineapple you could still see them so I want to start like pretty far back so I'm going to section out this front section I'm gonna need a lot of clips and then I know at the bottom I have to section off so that when I put it up, you can't see, but I also need to section off the sides too. I'm gonna do it like from here going down, cause that should be enough hair. If it's up, you won't be able to see. So the area we're working with is gonna be fairly, like I'm not gonna say small, but it's really just gonna be like the center of my head. And it's like at an angle. I don't know if you guys can notice. Clean my parts up. Ooh. So it looks like this. I hope you guys can see good because I can't even see. <laughs> I'm gonna do 
I'm like feeling. This is the bottom of my head. I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna fix it obviously like once I get to the back section. But this is just for right now. Now I've got my front section out. I have my side and I have the back section out. I will not be putting tapes in this area, in these areas, and it's because when I want to, when I put it up, I want to make sure that I have enough hair covering the tape so that you can't see them. Top section. This is like the crown of my head and a little bit extra. I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna split it in half. Yeah, so I just have to add tapes to this section. If I need to add more, I'll go in and add more. Like, But I feel like this will do it. I know some of them I want to go straight this way in the back of my head going up. And then when I get to the side of my head here, I want them going at an angle. Um, but straight up so that I can have no issues flipping my hair. I feel like one of these on one side, it literally is like the length of my hair. Oh my God, my hair is like almost 16 inches. Is that what you're telling me? So this is really just gonna be for fullness then. Take these little Velcro thingies. I'm gonna put one right here in the front to keep this front section down. I'm gonna do at an angle. Okay, so this is my first section you want to make sure that it's enough hair in between your tapes if you put too little hair then it'll hurt and if you put too much hair then it won't stick you don't want to place the tapes too close to your scalp because that will also hurt peeled off the sticker i'm doing it at an angle so it's like this like and flip it up comfortably flip it up not easy with long nails dang okay that's the first tape on first tape just press it i'm only doing a single pass Boom. Okay, so we're switching to a voiceover. I'm gonna just repeat the same thing that I just did, but I'm parting my hair, grabbing my little section. I put the little Velcro thing underneath so that my piece of hair lays on top of it. And then I stick the top um, tape on and then I flip it up and I stick the tape that's underneath, sandwich them together. I take my flat iron and I actually was pressing on top of like the top part of the tape where the glue is to kind of like warm it up so that it really like, you know, melts together. And then I go slowly down the whole piece. And I just repeated the same process all the way up um, this front section on this side. I'm leaving the back alone because I'm gonna do the back. You know, you guys are gonna see me do the back but I'm just focusing on the side right now and I'm making sure to go at an angle so that when they flip up and down, like if I were to put it you know, up in a ponytail or wear it down, it flips comfortably and it's not like digging into my scalp or like pulling on my hair too much um, because this is like a tension hairstyle obviously with tape-ins, so you wanna make sure that you're not putting them too close to your scalp. But once I got into the groove of it, it was very easy to do. It's just time consuming. Um, obviously people pay other people to do this on them, but Miss DIY Queen, is she gonna try and do it herself, always. <laughs> if I can save a coin, I'm gonna save a coin. And I think I got this whole process done in about six hours, so I'm not mad at it. It was pretty good. Okay, so we moved to the bathroom, clearly. Um, and I finished the two sections in the front and I have them clipped away, but now we're working on the back of the two sections. So I have 
one here it's really not that much hair but this is basically gonna get like doubled with tapins and then i have the same piece on this side so we're gonna do it like i did the two front pieces like pretty easily but you know the back of your head is a little bit harder and i always have a hard time capturing this on camera because i be struggling but if i struggle y'all gonna see it so yeah okay so with the back it's obviously gonna be a little bit harder because it's the back of your head but i find you know setting up a mirror i'm looking at myself like in this little mirror but the reflection is my huge bathroom mirror so you just want to make sure that you have like two decent sized mirrors and you want good lighting um and i feel like you eventually kind of get used to the feeling of like working on the back of your head but it's going to be the same process except for going at an angle we're just going to go straight like parallel to the parting and we're going to be going straight up all the way you know to the top basically so but for these sections i'm actually doing two tapes next to each other because the parting was like big enough to fit two tapes um, so in total, like for the row, if you were to look at it, you know, I'm going to have three going all the way across. It's just the third one is a part of the front section that we already did. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I feel like it's kind of self-explanatory. Like you kind of just have to watch me do it a couple of times. Um, I feel like if you're someone that does your own hair or you do hair on other people or you want to attempt to do this like on your friend or your sister or whatever like it's something that you can learn to do because it's not a hard thing you just want to make sure that you're doing it right and you're taking your time so that you don't cause any damage to your hair because all of your natural hair is out essentially with this style so yeah this is me just parting the back of my head over and over again i kind of like jumped around a bit because it got very repetitive as i was editing this um, but I just wanted you guys to like kind of get the point and see that I did both sides So now we're working on the other side of my head um, And yeah two pieces on this side as well So I'm gonna have like four going across the back and then I have two rows on the side of my head going up towards my crown so yeah, I have like I feel like this is like a full head of tapes because Although I didn't have any like in the front, which I'm glad I didn't put any because you guys will see like I didn't need to. Um, this is still like a full head of tape ins. So this is what it looks like. I finished it. This is it straight. Um, this is just like the natural length of the hair. I obviously like had some unevenness because my placement wasn't like, you know, I can't see the back of my head the way that a hairstylist would be able to see the back of my head. So I'm gonna obviously have to cut it a little, just trim, which is fine. I feel like that's normal anyway. I don't think that anyone should wear hair straight out the pack and not like tweak it and customize it to fit them. But I'm able to put it up, I'm able to wear it down, I'm able to put it in a side part, I'm able to wear it in the middle part, I'm able to wear it in a half up, half down. Like it was doing what it needs to do. And it was blending and I was very happy about that because that was like my biggest thing because you guys have seen me do like tapins before but curly and I had you know issues with making it blend and then you've seen me do clip-ins and that was like hard to make it blend too because my hair was just more blunt but now my hair I feel like is at a good length to where like it can actually blend with leave out extensions and stuff like that so this is me just cutting the ends because I wanted it to give like more of like a healthy like I just got my hair, you know, washed, blow dried, silk pressed and cut at the Dominican salon and they gave me a cute little haircut. Like it just looks very healthy. It looks very just good. I was very, very pleased. At this moment, I was like, oh, period, you did that. And then some, but honestly, what do we expect? <laughs> no, seriously, like I was so happy. Like it's giving, yeah it's giving it's literally just giving like at this point it's just giving yeah yeah <laughs> Now 
you guys i finished installing these tape ins oh my god they came out so good it looks so natural i actually got it to freaking blend ah! you notice in my my hair is grown so i feel like it's definitely gotten easier to make it blend now that it's like a length that it's not super blunt either but like i'm so freaking pleased i'm glad that i cut the ends because I don't know it kind of just gave it like a fuller look i used two bundles and not even half of the third one like a quarter of the third one so i still have like quite a, a bit of tapes left and i honestly wouldn't have been able to get i wouldn't have been able to get all three in because that would have been like so much hair because this is already like very full like this is super full but it's like perfect because it's the right amount of fullness the length is great. Ah! It's giving silk perfect. It's me wanting to just like flip my hair. But like, it's so pretty. This texture was perfect for my hair. Like, light yakky is literally like the texture of my hair when it's straight. It's so freaking pretty. I'm obsessed loving them and i did my placement perfect to where like i can wear it in a half up half down i could do a side part and i can put it up in a ponytail or a bun like i just really love it it's so pretty i'm gonna put curls in it probably like tomorrow and do my hair and makeup but i just wanted to show you guys what it looked like straight yeah it's giving healthy it's giving i take my hair vitamins I would just keep staring at myself all night. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. You guys! This is the completed look. I ended up curling my hair. And I did like, you know, curling curls with the curling iron. And then I pinned them. And I did my makeup. And I'm obsessed with these tape-ins. I posted little photos on my Insta story yesterday. And you guys are obsessed with the tape-ins. And a lot of people actually think it's all my hair because it looks so natural and it's literally like the same texture, the same color. It's just so seamless. I'm loving the length. It's a very like doable length and a very natural length. Like you could really think like, wow, she just has bomb hair. I'm obsessed. It looks so good. I literally want to go somewhere. Like I need plans. I need to do something. I'll have all info, links, discount codes for you guys in the description box down below. So make sure you definitely check that out. Check out Curls Queen. Thank you for sponsoring this video. Once again, giving your girl another option on how to wear her hair. We went for big, sexy, voluminous cows to just like really just give like bed head. Like you just woke up. Like I've just woken up. I played too much, but yeah. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then let me know down below. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas. Oh, don't forget, you are smart, you are beautiful, people love you. I love you, and I can't wait to see my next upload. Bye.